Here is another question from one of our viewers and they wanted to know how you could frame a balcony like this. And that would be a cantilevered balcony, except they wanted to install the joist in the other direction. Now this is the most common method used for building a balcony where we're going to have the joist coming out from the floor. So it's gonna be coming out a little bit and then going back a little bit further. And according to newer building code, this distance here comes out a quarter of the distance. This goes back three quarters of the distance, bringing me to what I usually say in most of my videos that you're going to have to check with your local building and safety department to find out what your local building codes require. And usually something like this will require an engineer also because this is a structural modification if you're going to be modifying an existing building. And of course, if you're building something like this brand new, then you're probably going to have an engineer on record anyway. So again, this is the most popular way. However, I have seen it built like this before, where we have a large beam. And again, I have this coming out one third, this going back two thirds. And of course, this part of the beam sitting on top of a load bearing wall. And of course, the back part might or might not be sitting on top of a load bearing wall, depending upon the design. And there's a good chance this beam will need to be a lot longer because it's going to be supporting all of the weight here. Whereas in our previous example, we have each one of the joists supporting a little bit of the weight for the entire deck. Now, even though we do have larger beams here, I actually worked on a project next door to an existing house that had a sagging balcony because the structural beams here could not support the weight of the deck. And to make matters worse, they had a bathtub in that area and the bathtub wouldn't drain anymore because it was sloping in the wrong direction. So no bathrooms out on your balcony. And of course, this wasn't an exterior balcony. This was just a cantilevered section of the floor. So the floor would have came straight out instead of dropping down like we have here. And the joist here will be attaching with hangers. And of course, the end of the deck will be shaped here. And since we have a quarter of an inch per foot slope, there's a good chance that all of the joists here, including our rim joist here, will be different sizes. Take a look at the other side with our joist hangers. And of course, our support posts or cripples. And even though I do have this rim nailed to the end of the beam, your engineer might require a double joist and a hanger. In other words, the beam is going to go all the way out to the end of the deck. And then you will attach a concealed or inverted hanger to the corner of the deck beam. And that method will probably work better than this one here. And don't forget to add some type of support post underneath your beam in this wall also. So here we have the support post here for this beam and then a larger header with our support post for this beam. So all of the weight from the deck, all of this area here is going to transfer over to the beam down through the post and into the building foundation. Whereas if we frame it the other way, we won't be dealing with as much weight or a concentrated load in these two points right here. And to get the slope we need, we're going to need to have it larger at one end, for example, 10 inches, and then a nine inch measurement here. And this would be a four foot long distance. And I'm not gonna go into all the details on how I make this. I do have other videos on that. However, I do wanna provide you with the inverted hanger, what that would look like if you're going to be using a beam instead of a double hanger. So this is probably what your engineer is going to want to see. And of course, provides you with another design and assembly method for this type of balcony. Next up, let's go ahead and install our floor sheathing, except instead of having our sheathing run in this direction here, for example, if we were using plywood, the grain of the plywood would run perpendicular to the floor joist. We're going to need to rotate the plywood because we have switched the direction of the floor joist. So for example, instead of having the floor joist running straight out, 
like we had in the very first part of the video. We switch the direction, meaning that we are going to have to make sure that the plywood is installed properly for our new deck. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure that you let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or leaving a comment in the comment area.